Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. I just got finished, or I still am, trying on this cute little outfit. My friend is having a bridal shower, so it's like a Mean Girls theme, so this is the outfit I picked out. It's really cute. I got this on Amazon. This top is from Amazon, and the faux leather skirt is from Amazon. really like how it complements my figure. I could have gone a size smaller with the um, skirt. It's a little loose, but it's fine. I'd rather it like loose and too tight height but this is what the outfit looks like and I got this whole outfit for like under $40 which is really good um or about $40 so yeah this brand this top is like actually from Zaffle and I don't really know what brand this is but I will link this down below so if you guys want to check it out or if you have like any Mean Girls themed occasions this is a really good outfit it's pretty comfortable too so yeah I think I'm gonna get changed out of this into my other outfit that I was wearing. I was wearing like a white top and just like some black leggings because we are going to decorate my room for fall. I think it's the perfect time. Um, I think my fall decorations are my favorite. I love my Christmas decorations, but I think my fall ones are my favorite. So I'm just gonna start decorating after I get changed and hopefully it'll be all fallified. I feel like every year my fall decorations just look the same, which is kind of true, <laughs> but I still wanna vlog it for you guys and share the little time-lapse transformation um, that my room will turn into. So let's get started. Okay guys, and we are complete just like that. I actually ended up spending a whole lot of time cleaning out under my bed, which this is not that organized, but I know where everything is, but I just wanted to clean out everything. Again, this looks really messy, but I promise you there's only like ears and then this bin is filled with stuff but I just need to clean stuff out because I feel like when I redo my room, I need to clean stuff and just kind of declutter. Also clean my camera equipment bin here. And yeah, we're looking good. So I guess I'll just give you a little room tour, very informal. Um, these are my pajamas. I should put them on my bed, but I want to take a picture of my cute little bed over here. And then we have my fall candle here. Uh, my mom got that as a present. And then, yeah, don't mind the shoes and the mat and the tripod. <laughs> then we have my mirror, like normal. And over here, I've added some fall leaves just to give it some flair. And um, then we have this pumpkin pie recipe. I wonder if that's actually accurate. I have no idea, but I just, I liked it. It was like a dollar at Target last year. And then over here we have my bed. So I know a lot of you guys love when I film in front of my bed and have this in the background and have it kind of like blurred out when I do sit down main channel style videos. Um, this is my favorite fall candle. I got this from my birthday like my 22nd birthday and now I'm 24 so I've had this candle for two years and I absolutely love it I wish you could smell it but it's just a two-wick candle and I have heard that candles give you secondhand smoke but I rarely ever have a candle in my room or on so I think my secondhand smoke isn't that bad um, and then we have my little vase there with my leaves like normal and my pumpkin pillow so that's pretty much everything in my room not very fancy at all but I just thought I would show you guys and it's fun to get festive for the seasons even though in Florida we barely get any seasons um but also I wanted to unbox my new microphone I've had this thing for like two weeks now and haven't even touched it really just because I've been so busy and haven't really filmed a main channel video or needed it so I'm gonna go get that right now so we can unbox it together and I still kind of have to learn how to use it um because there's a lot more settings on it so I'll have to do some research on that so the microphone I recently purchased is called the video mic pro plus and this was kind of expensive. I'll link it down below if you guys have YouTube channels that you um, want to improve your equipment on. But I do some freelance. Um, I'm trying to stay away from it more. But um, because I do freelance and everything, I have to have like okay equipment to like film on just to have good quality. And my other microphone, which was the Rode mic, it was just like this one. I think it's the one that like all YouTubers have. It's like the Rode mic. There's nothing special about it. This does not detach the um, string on it. 
If you want this one, I'll link it down below. I think this was like $150. So it's very affordable, but the problem I had with it, so I would leave my camera and it, there would just be popping noises. And it started doing that when I filmed my reacting to adoption photos video, it started doing that. And then when I used to do some stuff for work, um, we had issues with popping noises. So this microphone will probably be good for like a backup, but definitely not something to be reliable on because it is so flaky and I just can't be worrying about that. You know what I mean? Like I can't have that um, popping noise within my content. So I got this new baby and I like Rode, so I don't know. I'm just used to it. So I decided to just continue on with this brand, but this one's much higher quality. So opening this on up, I'm also gonna try to keep it like in the box, not like while I use it obviously, but just to store it. I want it to be in like, or maybe I'll just like keep it in here. I don't know yet, but I wanna try to keep this one as nice as possible. I always kept the other mic open and out everywhere. And I don't know if that has something to do with like it pop making popping noises. Oh my gosh, it's so light. It's like perfect. This is called a shotgun mic if you don't know. So it's very light. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Super light microphone. It's like a feather. Okay, that's my first impression of it. We have the cords here. This is also really good because it comes with a cord that detaches. And if this gets destroyed or hurt or damaged, I can just replace this rather than replace the whole microphone, which is a very good thing. I think that's why my other microphone was having issues because of the cord and that is not replaceable. Hmm, this is interesting. This might be um, a way to charge it. Here is the little battery. And I don't know how to get this on, so I might need to read on how to do this. Okay, hi guys. I just wanted to film a test. This is like really terrible, but hopefully you can hear me well. Um, my settings on this microphone are plus 20, like a plus 20. I'll put a picture so you'll see, but the number 20. And I've turned down my manual audio like almost all the way. So I know that sounds really confusing, but I just looked up this YouTube tutorial and his audio sounded really good. So I hope this is good. And that's why I'm just rambling right now. I really like this thing. Um, it's a lot bigger, but it's a lot lighter than my other microphone. Let me know if you guys would want to buy this one for me. Again, I will definitely like put it on the cheaper side because it does have popping noises, but I just wanted to kind of offer it. So if any of my subscribers want to buy this, um, it is kind of defective, but if you have one, this could be a good backup one. Or if you are not like fully into YouTube yet and you just want to try, I will definitely like to discuss pricing with you for this one. This is the Rode Video Mic. I don't, it's definitely, it's not the go. Um, it's a lot longer than the go, but it's just the road video mic. So if you guys want to check it out, um, I'll have it linked down below or just message me like on Instagram and we can talk pricing with that, but hopefully this sounds good. Okay. So you just got done hearing my sound test with the microphone and it is really good. I think I'm like holding out hope because I paid a lot of money for this and it better work, but I'm actually going to keep it in this like plastic box just so it won't get damaged, hopefully. Like my other one I think got damaged just because I left it open and stuff. I'm not gonna keep this thing cause like this doesn't really matter. It's just like paper, but this plastic box, I'm gonna keep it in here. Um, and then when I need to record stuff, I'll just take it out obviously. And my settings on my camera are all set up. The settings, I know I did a really bad job explaining the settings, but I have this setting where it says, um, 20 on and then I've turned down my microphone manual settings like almost all the way down like super super low I'll show you guys one second, but overall really happy with this. It's super simple to use um, I don't know whenever I will need to use a high-pass filter because I don't really film a lot outside but um, Yeah, overall really happy with that still don't really know what I'm gonna do with this thing But I guess I'll just keep it until you know, I don't need it anymore. This is also a rechargeable um, case for my microphone which is really good so I'm definitely gonna keep that okay so I don't know how much that just recorded sorry my forehead's shiny but I'm just gonna repeat everything I said because I don't know if it got it on camera which is so awkward when you're like filming and whatever at least I'm like alone I'm not like around people um yesterday we had Panda Express at least I had Panda and my parents had some sushi because we watched Mulan and it's such a good movie and if you haven't seen it I highly recommend you check it out because it's so inspiring 
inspiring and empowering and it is definitely not your typical Mulan movie. There's no I'll make a man out of you. There's no Mushu. It's kind of sad but the movie's really really good so I highly recommend it if you haven't seen it. We had a little Asian theme last night. Um, and then tonight we were having Panera because you know, I have to feed my addiction to Panera. Their food is just so good and I love the mac and cheese and I love the cookies, which are not good for you, but whatever. So I'll probably end up showing you guys what our dinner is like, like normal um, in the next clip. Okay, so we got our dinner. I said I would vlog it for you. So I got my lemonade. My little salad here. Got the mac and cheese. It's so delicious. Chips. Mother's got soup and green goddess. Soup and green goddess. It's broccoli cheddar, right? Mm -hmm. Say hi. Hi. Hi, Sherry. Hi. I'm already eating the chips. <laughs> so I'm just coming on here to end this video. I know it was pretty chill. I didn't vlog a whole lot today, but I don't know. I just haven't done a day in the life type video in a while. So I was just like, why not? And I wanted to decorate for fall and show you guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Question of the day. What decorations do you like most? Do you like Halloween, Christmas, Valentine's Day? I would love to know. I think my favorite decorations are Christmas, but that's just my personal opinion. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.